weeks um not as diligent i did speak about procrastination and all that you guys know me but no um had some really cool plans for you guys that i wanted to do some on location kind of vlogging and i didn't have the right equipment for that and um american airlines said no so i couldn't bring y'all to miami then i got back home and a lot of things were going on and i really wanted to make sure that this video was a little different so i hope you guys enjoyed the intro something new um but either way let's just hop in my name is atika also known as teak and here are some of my tips today's episode is going to be about networking now if you're in any type of industry you are very familiar with networking and someone once told me that network make the check work so you know you got to do it anyway because it's going to help you get where you need you need to know certain people to do certain things right uh so through my own experience and how much i loathe it i try to change that around and turn it into love tip number one be authentic authenticity goes a long way in all types of relationships but especially when you are first meeting someone and you are attempting to network with them you want to have a genuine authentic connection something that isn't superficial something that doesn't feel like you need to ask them for something one of my friends um she was telling me we were talking about this and she was basically saying like you know make it about them make it all about the other person more so than yourself and that takes the pressure off you can ask them whatever you want to ask them but allow yourself to make a genuine connection and really get to know who that person is so be authentic tip number two be memorable find something that can connect you to the person or do something wacky risky fun not too crazy you don't want to be remembered in a crazy i don't want to work with that person way but something fun something that'll make you stand out especially if you're in a networking setting where everybody's doing the same thing what's going to make you stand out when i was at abff i would always hand people my card and my card is my card is red Please excuse my chip nail polish, but it's a red card headshot with my face on it. So for me, that's my that's my stamp that was making me memorable. So everybody, once they left ABFF, if they got a card for me, they're gonna say, "I remember the girl with the red card and the beautiful smile." Let me be memorable with my red cards and commercial headshot. My final tip, tip number three, would be not to put too much pressure on yourselves a lot of times the reason why we hate networking is because we make it into this chore and this thing that i gotta do this and i don't feel like you know putting myself out there but if you go back to the tips that i already placed be authentic being yourself doesn't cost you anything you can just be genuinely yourself and either they're gonna connect with you or they won't and everybody won't connect and that's okay but those connections that you were meant to have will happen and going back to tip number two being memorable you may be from the same hometown as somebody that you're connecting with you may have you know the world is so small six degrees of separation you may know someone that they know and you know that will stick out in your head you may have a bright card you know colors like this or the red that i show you in my card those things will make you stand out being memorable so i believe if you go to these events you take the pressure off, be yourself, you know, be memorable in a way that is fun. And when you are truly your authentic self, there will be some, something about you that people remember you. They're always going to remember that girl at the party 
who was just really fun and great energy, great person. And so along with being yourself and really honing into the genuine connections and then just don't be too hard on yourself. Look, either the goal for me when I go into these events is at least connect with one person and one person could lead you to millions of opportunities. You really never know who you're meeting. So those are my tips for networking. Um, I have a couple of cool topics coming up this month for you guys. Um, the last week of the month is viewer's choice and I already have one for this month, but if you have something for August that you think I should talk about, go ahead and slide in my DM. Thank you guys for tuning in. I promise I will never leave y'all waiting that long ever again unless I like book some big TV show or something and like, you know, either way. Thanks guys for tuning in to this week's episode of Teak's Tips. I'm Atika, also known as Teak, and I aspire to inspire. You know what time it is. Peace! <laughs>